Hi, this is Dr. Karar. I'm an interventional radiologist in St. Cloud, Minnesota. The title of this talk is Simple Streamlined CT Fluoroscopy with Canon. Today I'll be talking briefly about the CT Fluoro Touch Interface developed by Canon and how I use it in my practice. As you can see in the animation on the left side of the screen, the interface basically is a touchscreen panel which you can control the CT couch and the gantry with. I have been using this interface for the past several months and in my experience this interface is designed to give an interventionalist adequate independence in controlling the various aspects of the procedure. Uh, I will be discussing the functions of the touch panel and I'll also be briefly describing how I use the interface and, and how I feel this system helps me during the basic CT guided procedures like biopsy, drain placement, ablations, etc. So as you can see, I am standing in the CT room and I'm standing right next to the CT couch and I'm using the CT Fluoro interface panel here. Um, and as the couch moves out, um, I can stop the couch exactly where I'm standing so the patient is right in front of me. And um, the panel is to my left. And as you can see, it's very easily accessible. I don't have to turn around or take a step back to use this panel. It functions at the touch of a button. You can move the couch in and out at the touch of a button. The panel is attached to the couch and also plugs into the couch. And there's also a foot pedal that is attached to the panel, uh, which has a long cord with a lot of slack. So you can move around the foot pedal to where you're standing. The panel uh, can be hooked up to either side of the couch, so it doesn't matter if you're standing on the right or the left of the patient. So uh, the function, uh, the ergonomic design of the panel is, is very useful. It's very easy to learn and to use. Also, um, my procedure tray is usually uh, in front of the panel, so I hardly have to turn around at all um, during the procedures. Uh, not even to ask the tech to window the images um, or to angle the gantry, move the couch, or, or anything as a matter of fact. So this is what the interface panel exactly looks like. Uh, as you can see on the top, there's a touchscreen panel, and on the bottom, there are a bunch of buttons. Uh, in the center uh, of the bottom panel, there's a joystick, which you can use to fine-tune the position of the couch. And there are a couple of buttons on the bottom panel which uh, can be used to move the couch in and out. It can be used to um, window the images. The touch panel on the top itself has three categories as illustrated in the picture. Uh, that says main, couch, move, and scan details. And we'll be briefly going through some of the functions of these categories. So here we'll be discussing about the functions of the panel um, and we'll be going through some of the basic functions I use during the procedures. Um, it's very easy to learn. Uh, these are the basic functions that you know, you'll be most of the time using during the procedure. There are many other functions available on this panel, but uh, we'll be just going through the, the most common ones that you know, an interventionalist would use during the procedure. The first category of the three categories that you have on the panel is the couch move category, as you can see on the left side of the slide, where you can adjust the position of the couch up, down, in, out, or sideways, and you can also position the gantry. You can angle the gantry caudally or cranially. Uh, usually, the position of the gantry and the couch is set up uh, by the tech uh, before the interventionist walks in and scrubs in. So you don't have to change that uh, too much, but I have changed it quite a few times uh, based on the patient positioning. One of the other options that I frequently use is on the top right-hand corner of that first image is the couch speed. You can adjust the speed of the couch as it moves in and out. It's not too fast. It's not too slow. You know, I usually set it up at a, at a medium pace, uh, but you can set it up uh, based on yours and patient's preferences. The next category on the right side of the slide is the main category. This is called the main category because you'll be using this for the most part of the procedure. And broadly, this category is divided into three parts. The first um, is the target. So uh, you'll be setting the target 
um, based on your initial pre-procedure scan. Um, so you'll be dialing in the position of the couch as the target. So once that's dialed in, then the options that you can that you see in the panel, move to target and move out, those are the two options that you'll be using to move the couch in and out. So once you dial that target in and you hit move to target, the couch automatically goes and stops at the target. So you don't have to push the couch in manually or pull the couch out manually, you know, to make sure it's it always goes to the target or it comes out to where you're standing. So the panel automatically does that for you. The third thing under the main category is, as you can see, uh, there are a host of options for image review or series review. And one of the most common things that I go through uh, in this and I use uh, is the windowing function. Uh, there are a few preset window options in the panel that include uh, a bone window, a soft tissue window, and a lung window. But there's also an option of windowing manually, uh, changing the windows and the levels manually. Uh, for example, if you're doing an ablation or um, if you're doing a, a, a bone biopsy, sometimes, um, especially if you're doing um, a kidney biopsy or intra-abdominal procedures, it's very helpful to uh, be able to window it uh, to let's say liver windows or kidney windows. So as you can see, you know, there are so many small things that an interventionalist may use and are useful during the procedure and to have them at your command is very useful. It's time saving and you don't even realize that you would use these functions until you have them, until you can use them on your own without having to add the tech in the command center to change the window, to change the position. One last thing that um, I use very often is the laser beam. You can see a small light bulb on the lower row on the panel. That function turns off and on the laser beam. I like to turn the laser beam off when the patient is moving out of the gantry, especially if the patient is positioned head first so that I avoid um, shooting laser into patient's eyes. And since I've been using this panel, I haven't had the tech to walk over to turn the laser off and on each time I bring the patient out or move the patient in. So I don't have to wait for the tech to walk over and turn the laser off. I don't have to turn around and ask the tech to do that. So that saved me some time. That's helped me to just focus on the procedure. So as I was saying, there are very small details, very well designed in this panel that you know you, you wouldn't think about uh, using um, normally, but once you start using this, you know the procedure becomes more smoother, faster. It's better for you, better for the patient um, and your team. So this is the third category, the scan details, which gives you the option to change the scan mode from the regular continuous uh, CT fluoro to a one shot, which gives you an axial image and a volume shot, which gives you orthogonal reconstructions. You get the coronal and the sagittal reconstructions, which I have used multiple times in uh, spine biopsies or ablations, and it's a very useful tool. Although there are several steps in a CD guide procedure, I have mentioned a few of them that are dependent on the text. So depending on your facility, if you have one or two techs available to help you out with the procedures, these steps uh, can be rate limiting um, because the techs in the CT rooms are multitasking. Uh, they're very well qualified and adept in doing their job. But uh, since I've started using this interface, I've relied less on the techs to control some of these small but important aspects of the couch movement, uh, the scanning, the image review, etc. And uh, although in the grand scheme of things, this may have saved me a few minutes of the procedure time or radiation time, if at all, uh, but my ability to focus on the patient, uh, the needle position, uh, complications is better when I'm not concerned about giving detailed instructions to the tech, for example, to move the couch in or out by one or two millimeters. And as I mentioned before, to turn the laser on and off or to change the windowing, which has to be done sometimes by the tech in the command center. So here is an example 
of a case where I used the volume one shot uh, scan mode on the touch interface panel. And this was a thoracic spine biopsy of a sclerotic lesion on a patient with a history of remote history of prostate cancer. This was the only new finding on the PET scan and uh, on the CT scan. And uh, this was biopsied under uh, CT guidance. So the thoracic spine and its endopathoracic spine can be a tricky place to biopsy. The verbal bodies are smaller. They are more triangular in shape. They're at a more difficult angle compared to the lumbar spine. There are several vital structures next to the spine in the chest. So I used the volume shot scan mode quite a few times during this procedure. And normally I would have to walk out of the CT room into the command center. The tech would change the scan mode from the command center and then we would take a volume shot to get the orthogonal reformats, the axial, coronal, and sagittal. But since I have this function on the panel, all I do is change the scan mode and hit the pedal and I get the reconstructed slices on my screen immediately. So I can I can see the trajectory of my needle. I can see if I'm intraparticular or extraparticular, whichever uh, trajectory you know one would choose. I can uh, make sure the relationship of my needle with the neural foramina, with the spinal cord, with the paravertebral veins. So um, this particular function was extremely useful in this case, and it helped me save several, several minutes. Um, I would think at least 15 to 20 minutes during this case. And this case went uh, very smooth, um, no complications. Um, uh, we got really good core biopsies. So this is uh, one of the examples where I have used the panel to its full, and I would highly recommend using something like this for these difficult procedures, um, spine biopsies, and especially ablation cases, where you know we are trying to get a good ablation zone of a lesion, uh, especially in the liver or even in the kidney, and you want to place the probes to straddle the lesion uh, to get a good ablation zone. So the volume shots um, in these cases uh, can be very valuable. I have alluded to multiple advantages of the CT Fluoro hybrid interface touchscreen panel system by Canon uh, during the various slides. And to summarize them, the panel, uh, the interface, uh, the software, the whole setup is extremely well designed. It's a very high quality ergonomic setup, uh, very easy to use, uh, very easily accessible. Uh, it's very easy to prep for the procedure. Uh, we usually have a sterile cover that we put over the touchscreen panel, and um, the sensitivity of the touchscreen or the use of the buttons under the touchscreen is no way affected by the sterile cover. So the visualization, the visibility of the panel is in no way affected. It's a very well lit, very bright panel, very sensitive to touch very intuitive, very easy to use. The functions, um, the arrangement of the the functions um, and the options on the screen is very intuitive. And overall, I have had less distraction by the text, the nurse. I've had to interact with the text much less during the procedure. And overall, I think, especially in sensitive procedures like lung biopsies, where you know, the target keeps moving, um, or even, even a liver or kidney biopsies where the target keeps moving with breathing. This setup, this interface has been very, very valuable in um, saving the time and really uh, saving the frustrating uh, part of the procedure. It, it, it really eliminates the, the chasing of the lesion uh, with moving the couch in and out manually by the tech. You know, every time you have to you add as the tech to uh, push the couch in a millimeter, pull the couch out two millimeters. So you really uh, very easily eliminate that frustrating part of the procedure. Uh, you can fine tune the position of the gantry and the couch. Um, you can change the target. Um, you don't have to 
worry about accurately moving or pushing the couch in to the target. You hit a button, the couch stops right on the target, right on the laser beam, which you have set. So um, all this, you know, in the, in the grand scheme of things, saves time, less distraction, less complications. I think it's overall, it's been good for the team. It's um, not only as an interventionalist, I have enjoyed doing this. I think the imaging nurse, the CT techs have really enjoyed working with me while I use this panel. The CT techs are more free to take care of other things. They are more free to grab me uh, any needles, uh, catheters, any other instruments that I want, um, instead of just hanging right behind me waiting for uh, the small instructions. The overall team dynamic has been better. Uh, the procedure time have been better. And as I keep using this panel, as I keep learning more and more functions on this panel, I have been able to attempt more challenging cases. And overall, I think it's a very extremely well-designed device that I foresee using for every procedure, every CD-guided procedure.